Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be testing out some alcohol markers that I received from the company Artbeak. They specialize in alcohol markers, art supplies, that sort of thing. They do sell on Amazon and they also have their own website. So they contacted me and asked if they could send me a set of their markers and show them to you guys. So that's what we're gonna do today. Already took them out of the package. As you can see, they arrived in this zipped zipper pouch and what i thought was really cool about them instead of just being all loose in the package they have these plastic holders for them in, in, with individual slots so i thought that was really nice for a budget set of markers i have in the past purchased a quite a few set of budget markers especially from amazon and all the ones i've ever bought they never came in these plastic Trace. All right, so I thought we would try these markers out on a coloring page, and I thought what better way to really put the markers to the test would be to try them out on a coloring book with Amazon paper or KDP paper, as it's now known as. And I picked this book out from my coloring book shelf. Um, I thought this would be a fun one to try them out on. And we'll talk a little bit more about the markers as we're coloring. We'll get into more specific details about them. But I thought we would jump right into the coloring just so it's not so boring listening to me talk about markers. Um, so I did already swatch them out and I just wanted to make sure that they were all in working order. There was none missing or any duplicates or anything. And they were all perfectly fine. They were nice and juicy. No, none of them were dried out. So, and this will be helpful for me when picking out some colors to get started coloring. So I picked this page out and I thought it was a really good one to try out with the markers since it's a lot of kind of busy, a busy page, lots of things going on. I've got polka dot stripes, some leopard. Since this is Amazon printed paper, you, know, you guys most of you know it's very thin paper. So we do have to make sure we put something behind the page. I'm going to just be putting this piece of cardstock behind it. But if you don't have cardstock, you can put a piece of cardboard. Or if you don't have that, you can just grab a few sheets of printer paper and just stick it behind there. Just so you don't bleed through onto the next page. And of course, if you have something, an image on the back of your coloring page, that's gonna be, um, you're gonna have to give that up. So keep that in mind if you're um, gonna be coloring anything with alcohol markers. It doesn't matter what kind of alcohol markers you use. Could be the most expensive like Copic markers. They'll all bleed through the paper. So you have to make sure you, you're aware of that. All right, so we're gonna get started. Um, I think I'm going to start off on her leopard pants here because they're pajama bottoms, right? I am from New Jersey, so, you know, I do love a good leopard print. So let's pick out a good pink color. Let's do this vivid pink. These markers are dual tipped with a fine tip nib on one end and a chisel nib on the other. They do have color names and numbers. A few of the color names don't seem to match the color of the marker's ink. I have noticed that many of the budget sets of alcohol markers use the same color names and number system. I do find it a bit confusing to tell if some sets are better than others or if some are the same as each other. There's just so many out there to choose from. I feel like it's even more out there to choose from than budget pencils. So I am glad to have this opportunity to be able to try out some different art supplies on my channel with you guys and get a little bit more insight on different products and different brands. I'm only going to be using the fine nib for coloring on this page. I do prefer a brush nib, but the fine nibs are really good for getting into small or tight spaces. I very rarely, if ever, use the chisel nib on any of my alcohol markers. I think that's more for drawing or sketching, but let me know what you guys think. What kind of nibs do you prefer to color with? I am liking these so far. This pink looks really saturated and vibrant. There is a little bit of bleed over the lines, but not too bad considering the paper we're using to color on. And these are a brand new set of markers, so I am expecting a little bit of juicy, extra juiciness when we first get them. I'm going to be coloring the spots in a darker color anyway. All right, so now let's talk about the price. This set is currently $26.99 on Amazon, at least at the time I'm making this video. 
that does seem pretty average among comparable sets that I've looked at more or less. They are cheaper than the 80 set of the Fine Chisel Ohuhu markers. There is a 60 piece setup for $23.99 and a 40 piece setup for $19.99. So it's pretty obvious they're pushing you to buy the 80 piece set at $26.99. It is the most economical with the price of each marker coming to a cost of about 34 cents. Then they also have a 120 brush and chisel set up for $59.99. I will leave you all the links down below in the description box. Here, let's take a quick look at the chisel nib. I Wish someone would make a set with two fine or two brush nibs at either end. Is that a thing even? I don't know, but that would be really cool. I would love it. The marker I'm picking for her spots, the color name says Ultramarine, which to me should be a dark blue kind of color, but the cap and my swatch shows me that it's a dark purple color. When you're coloring with alcohol markers, you do have to be careful not to press down too hard. You do want to use a light hand just to minimize any excess bleed over into other areas. Plus, you don't want to damage or wear out your nibs too soon. If you feel like you need to press down really hard to get the ink to flow, that means they're probably dried out. Next, I'm going to color our girl's skin. Maybe she needs a name. What should we call her? How about we name her Susan? What do you think? So we're gonna color Susan's skin in this color called Barely Beige. This color looks pretty accurate. I like to color using short, even strokes that overlap and will usually do more than one layer of color, especially when using a lighter color. I think it helps with getting a nice even layer of colors down and it reduces the chance of any streaks. So now we have to pick out a hair color for Susan. I'm thinking she looks like a blonde. I chose the color dark yellow. This part is pretty easy since there's so many different small sections, especially if you're only using one color. Something like this, you really don't have to worry about working so fast. You can take your time. All right, now Susan's hair is looking beautiful like she just came back from the salon. Let's move on to her eyes and her lips. I'm going to match her top to her pants and use the vivid pink again. I think maybe Susan and her friend, what's our friend's name? We have to give her a name too. How about, Beverly, or we could just call her Bev for short. That's her nickname. So I think Susan and Bev went to the mall to shop for cute pajama sets just for the sleepover. I'm going to finish up the rest of this page off camera and then we'll come back and try some layering with colored pencils and then we'll also check back in with Susan and Bev and see how their sleepover is going.
Okay, so we're back. I finished up the page with the markers and everything went really well. Not too much um, problems with streakiness. Maybe a little bit here on the table, but this is like a really large area um, without any, you know, sections. I had to act really fast coloring this table, so a little spots here and there, but not too bad. I was using the fine nib, so it's not gonna cover a large area as well as a brush marker would. Um, and then I also tried a little bit of blending over here with Bev's blush. Looks like she maybe had a few too many glasses of wine already. She's got that red wine flush going on. So I thought we would do a quick demo um, using some colored pencils on Susan's face. I do often use alcohol markers as a base for when I'm coloring skin. It kind of speeds up the process sometimes if you're feeling impatient and you don't want to spend a really long time on a page. So that's why I kind of left her a little pale and without any blush or anything. Let's pull out some pencils. I think I'm going to pull out my Starjoy Golds since they're right next to me. I use them a lot. And I'm going to pick out some colors to do for her skin and then we'll pop back in and see how they do on over the markers. All right, so that was just a little quick demo I wanted to do with you guys to see how the pencils, so you can see how the pencils lay over the markers and you can see how quick and easy it is to get a nice skin tone without having to spend hours or days with layering. I did do a little bit of a mistake while as I was coloring, I accidentally grabbed this, um, what is this color? Peach orange or orange peach. Um, I meant to grab one of the browns and shade over to shade over here. And um, I realized halfway through what I was coloring that it was the wrong color, but I kind of covered it over with the darker browns. I use this sepia and the tree bark for shading and the orange peach and the Sophia pink for her blush. And use this light peach as her base. As you can see, I use that one a lot. <laughs> and um, what do we have? Locks and uh, beige. And then I just pulled, I use this white as a blender to go over and blend a little bit. So I think we're all done with this page and testing out these markers. I do really like them a lot. I do think they are a nice budget set. I will make sure I leave you guys all of the links down below in the description box. And like I mentioned earlier, they are cheaper than the 80 fine chisel Ohuhu set right now on Amazon. Theirs cost about $40. The only big difference I can see is that their sets include some extras. So you're really paying that extra $13 for a blender marker, swatch cards, and that little plastic sheet to put behind your coloring page. I will say I do think it would have been nice if Artbeak would have included a blender marker in this set. I do have a few from other sets, so it's not really a big deal for me. But if you're someone who is buying your first set of alcohol markers, that could be a deciding factor whether or not you decided to pick this set over another budget set. That being said, in my opinion, I really didn't notice a big difference quality-wise between this set and the Ohuhu's, but let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for spending some time with me testing out these markers. I hope you all have a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you guys next time.